Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be covering the menu command, which isn't exactly a hotkey, but something that can replace hotkeys in case you have too many hotkeys set up and you struggle to remember all of them. If this is something that interests you, then please continue watching. Hi, welcome back. Um, let me just type out the script first and I'll walk you through the script line by line. Alright, so the script is now ready. Let me just go ahead and run this script. And so this is the hotkey that runs this single command line. And what this command line does is it's going to show me the menu that I created that is called my menu. So if I go ahead and go ahead and press start Z, I'll get this menu. And this menu is just like when you do a right click on any window and get a menu like that. This is called context menu. And this menu, when I press Start and Z, is is the menu that shows up when I press my hotkey um, to show me the menu that I created. So you can see in this menu that there are four items, items one to four, and these items are created by the lines three to six. This is the syntax you use to create the menu items, and basically the menu items will be attached with a, a label and I call that label menu handler and the menu menu handler label will when you press on the menu items will run an if statement and understand which menu item um, that you have pressed going by the menu position so if you press the first one then it's going to show me a message box that says one and then if you press the second one message box that says 2 and so on and so forth right so if I just go ahead and press start Z again and bring up the menu if I press item 3 for instance it's going to show me message box that says 3 so now you can convert this into something that's more useful so let me just go ahead and type out uh, some random commands say for instance, I want the first menu item to run, will open up desktop folder, and then the second one to open up, say, my downloads folder, and then the third one to open up a calculator app, and then the fourth one to open up, say, Chrome, right? And I'm also going to change the names of the menu items to fit into what each of the items will do. And let me call this open desktop folder, open downloads folder, run calculator, and run Chrome. All right. So if I hit press, if I press run script, and then go start Z, you'll see that the menu items have been updated. Now, once I click click any of these items, it will do exactly. Uh, exactly as I said in the menu handler label so if I go start Z again and go run calculator it will open up a calculator like that uh, that's pretty much it and this is how uh, useful it can be when you have let's say if you have lots and lots of hotkeys 20 hotkeys for instance um, that you may not be able to remember all of in which case you can just launch this menu by pressing start Z or even what you can do is instead of using start Z you can also use your right mouse click combining with a special key like a shift key and go R button up and R button up because you want the menu to show up when you lift the right button so you can use a hotkey like this this instead of a, a start Z so if you go ahead, if I go ahead and run the script and press sh while pressing shift down, go right click, it will bring up my my custom menu instead of the usual 
menu that fits the window that I'm looking at. All right, uh, that's pretty much it for my my uh, tutorial today. If you want to get a hold of this script, then go to your browser and then type out juho leecom to visit my website. Go to archive, click auto hotkey, select the drop down, and go to hotkeys part nine menu command to replace hotkeys and the script will be there thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video